what's the best way to change this to this when you're visiting London? A really big incentive right now for Americans to visit London is the exceptionally low exchange rate. I have never seen the pound this low against the dollar in the three different times that I have lived here. But just because the exchange rate is so good doesn't mean you can waste your money while you're visiting. Make sure you watch until the end of the video when I share the one money strategy that you can use for traveling to several countries and something you should never do when you're exchanging money. Before we get into the tips, I'm going to assume that you already know that in London they use pound sterling and not green American dollars. My first tip is that you come here with minimal cash. I suggest you go to your bank and order 100 pounds maximum. I use the term order because don't just assume you can walk into your US bank and give them money and walk out with 100 pounds. It's likely you'll have to place an order and then go back in a few days to pick it up. Tip number two is notify your bank of your foreign travel plans. It's possible you can do this online, but you might have to call them, but they need to know that you plan on using your ATM card in another country so they don't flag it as suspicious activity. Tip number three, it's likely you'll also have to notify your credit card companies and it's likely you can do that online as well too. Tip number four is visit an ATM machine to withdraw cash as soon as possible after landing in London. Little side note is they don't call them ATM machines here. They use the term cash machines. The best exchange rate you will get is by directly drawing money from your US bank account at an ATM machine with your card. Tip number five is withdraw the maximum daily amount, which is likely 200 pounds. This allows you to avoid multiple withdrawal fees while you're here. If you've flown over with 100 pounds and now you have 200 pounds, that's 300 pounds, it might be a lot of cash depending on how long you're here. I'm gonna tell you at the end what you can do with the extra cash before you leave to save you money. Tip number six is use a credit card for really big purchases. Make sure in advance that you don't have any additional foreign transaction fees. If you don't and you plan on doing some big shopping here like going to Selfridges or perhaps buying a really nice Burberry coat, you likely will get Sky Miles for those or have some kind of cash back point system on your card. Tip number seven is separate your money. You've likely brought more more than one credit card and you have the 300 pounds cash that I suggested. Each day when you leave, put one credit card and some spending money in your wallet and then leave another credit card and the rest of your money locked safely in your room. What I literally do when I travel abroad is bring two different wallets. This one stays in the hotel with my information. And then I really like having this brightly colored green Michael Kors wallet, not just because it's Michael Kors and I'm obsessed with Michael Kors if you saw my American haul video, but because it's really easy to find in my purse. When you're jet lagged and people are talking funny and you're hungry and you don't know where you are, the last thing you wanna do is be rummaging through your purse to try to find your money. So this brightly colored wallet makes it even easier. Tip number eight is watch my video on VAT refunds so you have a really good chance of getting a percent of your money back on things that were over 75 pounds that you purchased while you were here. Tip number nine is look into Travelex. I don't think this is a sponsored video and let me explain why. Last year as a blogger, I was a part of a campaign to create awareness about the brand Travelex and what it can do for travelers. The American offices put a certain amount of money onto a credit card <laughs> here, which I picked up from one of the Travelex branch offices in central London. My job was to spend that as if I was a tourist in London for the day. I went to four attractions on that 100 pounds and I wrote a blog post about that experience. What really impressed me was not so much the fun that I had as I went to these four different attractions, but when I found out what the amount was for the American office that got me 100 pounds, I was shocked at how good the exchange rate was was through Travelex. Basically, you can go on the Travelex website and order a MasterCard that is sent to your house that will have pounds sterling on it in an amount that you've predetermined when you order it online. I can already hear you through the screen yelling, Sonny, why would I wanna do that if I have 300 pounds cash on me and I have multiple credit cards? 
think about this. If you know you are traveling to London in four months or six months, and you're not really sure what's gonna happen with the exchange rate between the dollar and the pound for when your trip happens, if you get one of these MasterCards, you have locked in that rate. You don't have to worry about carrying a ton of cash around you everywhere. The downside of using a MasterCard through TravelX is you're not gonna have the opportunity to get Sky Miles or cash back on major credit cards like I suggested earlier. So you're gonna have to think about what means more to you when you're traveling. Pin, like, and share this video if you found it valuable. And now for tip 10. With the MasterCard through TravelX, you can put up to 10 currencies on the one card. So if your travel plans include coming to London and then going to other countries, you can have all of those currencies stored on that one card. Now I'm assuming that you know that you need euros in Europe right? My final tip for you is if 300 pounds was too much cash for you before you leave London, an idea is leave yourself enough money to get to the airport and maybe buy some food and either use the difference at duty free or what's even smarter is if you have an extra 100 pounds, give it to your hotel and ask them to contribute that towards your hotel balance so your credit card statement isn't as big. Subscribe to The Sunny News if you don't wanna miss advice about London, the expat chats, or the things to do videos. Please leave your suggestions for how to save money when you travel in the comments below, as well as any questions you might have for visiting London. Keep in mind, I'm always excited about catching up with you, not only here, but also on social media. And remember this final piece of advice, don't ever exchange money at an airport kiosk. They notoriously have the highest rates compared to anywhere else. As always, thank you for watching.